So the season's going pretty well, but we have one absolute standout player whose stats are on, whose attributes are on the uh, the screen behind me in the intro. He's that damn good. Roll the. This is good. <laughs> roll the intro. No, I won't And welcome back to folks in Invicta Save on Football Manager 2020. And of course, we were looking at the man, the myth, the legend, Bruno Fernandes. And I'm probably quite urgently going to try and get him um, new contracts. I guess he's got four years. There's no need to at the moment. I'd be more than happy to pay him 85 grand for what he's doing. Um, 42 and a half million pounds. We bought him in for 34 million. It was big money. It was a potential risk, but. Nine goals in 11 games is ridiculous. Nine in 12 in all competitions, but uh, in all competitive competitions. But uh, nine in 11 in the Premier League is absolutely phenomenal. Um, we are currently in eighth position, though, so we're out of the European spots at the moment. But we are two points off Fulham in fifth and still within touching distance of uh, Tottenham and Everton. Results have been uh, a little bit hit or miss. So we were last together for the 2-2 against Kiev and then the uh, sorry, the 1-0 win against, well, the 2-1 win against Man United, which ended up being a 1-0 win, uh, and the game against Dynamo Kiev. Blackburn, we beat them 3-1. They got a man sent off, but it didn't really affect the game. Uh, we then lost to Everton 2-1. At Everton are very, very good, and we had them at 1-1. Well, we had them at one. We were one nil up until basically ten minutes to go, and then we just sort of fell apart and couldn't react quick enough. We then played a big rotated team to go and take on Maccabi Haifa and uh, drew that one one. Really disappointing. This was the one. If you watch my FIFA stream, this is the game I mentioned where we had um, twenty nine shots, twelve on target. They had one shot on target, and we drew one one. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we beat Derby County 2-1. Uh, Carlos Mas came back to his old club but didn't score. But his replacement scored two. So that was good for us. And we've just been knocked out by Man City in the EFL Cup fourth round. They played a very strong team. And uh, two of my Spaniards that are in my Spanish squad scored the goals. So that was fun. Um, and we've drawn 2-2 of Norwich. A 59th minute equaliser for Pato. We... Uh, it was a very even game. We we mixed things up a little bit. We had a lot more shots, but actually on target shots was pretty similar. Um, look at that. We, they blocked eight of our shots where we were trying to get lots of shots off. But uh, Sorry, eight off target, blocked one shot. So we, we, we did all right. They didn't create a clear-cut chance, but scored two goals, which was frustrating. And hang on, didn't they score a penalty? No, they didn't. I'm just making that up. Um, they didn't have any clear-cut chances. We probably should have won the game. I think we were just a little bit unlucky. Um, but today we face uh, Maccabi Haifa and Brighton in uh, the Europa Conference League and then the Premier League on TV against Brighton, which will be good. Uh, Maccabi Haifa in the Europa Conference League. I've come back for, for this game, and it's actually more important than we thought because they're bottom of the group, and they've got two points, right? And that's two draws against us and Dynamo Kiev. So they've drawn we're technically the two best teams in the group. Now, we're going to beat Feneca Verosi. I'm very confident of that. And I'm pretty sure Dynamo Kiev are going to beat them today. However, when we play Dynamo Kiev, we're going to have to win that game to finish top. I don't know what happens in terms of... So we're in the group stage, then first, second, knockouts, quarterfinal, semifinal, final. I probably should have looked at this, to be honest. Um, so group stage... You go to the oh, you go straight into the second knockout round, so you get a week off. Ooh, that is a bonus. That is a bonus. What happens to the the winner of the whole thing? Do they go into the Europa League? Do they get automatic entrance back into this competition? I don't know. You would assume that if you won it, you would go into the Europa League. Because in the Europa League, when you win it, you go into the Champions League. So you would assume that if you win it... Um, I, I, uh, well, Rangers won it... Right, now this is a risk. Because Rangers won it last time. They're in the Europa League. But did they qualify for the Europa League by coming... Well, they technically qualify for the Champions League. Now, they got... Did they get knocked out of the Champions League? They got knocked out of the Champions League. 
Oh, that doesn't help me, does it? That doesn't answer my question. Oh, man, this is... Um, leave a comment down below. What happens if we win this competition? Unless I'm being a complete idiot, I can't see what the winner gets. It, I, th I swear it would be in the final. Prize money, 2.41 million. Okay, let's... Uh, easy way to solve this, isn't there? Europa League final. It just says a winner qualifies for the UEFA Champions League, so it does say it. So I don't think you do. That's a shitter, isn't it? What's the bloody point in that? Bloody hell. Right, let's go and play um, uh, Maccabi Haifa then, before I rant any more about the Europa Conference League. Um, right. This is how we're probably going to line up. We're going to go Ramos, Medina, Berger, Wilkinson, Chia, Ludwig, Bunga, Revan, Vincent, Osmani, Fernandez. It's a strong lineup for a what I hope will be a very good positive result. We're starting on attacking as well. I'm going out there to go and uh, grab the goals against Maccabi Haifa. Now, 4 4 2. We're generally pretty good against the 4 4 2. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably. We are better than them. Uh, and I want you to go out there and show us that we're better. So, into the tunnel we go. We'll let David Dunn do this tunnel one. In the Premier League, I generally do the tunnel interviews, sort of. But, let's see. Yeah, so I'm expecting us to get a pretty good win here. Because, well, Maccabi Haifa aren't very good. Fenevacosi beat them. So, they've got a player called Ant-Man. That's incredible. Liberty has the ball for Mahabaga. Back to Ben Lulu. Into Lika. Kota. Out to Moshi. Into Liberty. If we can nick this and pounce, we are in. Because we've got two on two. And I guarantee you our strikers are faster than their defenders. Moshi, Liberty. They are keeping it well at the moment, though. Moshi, Ohayan. Ohayan goes long. Cheer intercepts it. Here we go. Osmani, Vincent. Vincent to Fernandez. Look at that pace. He out accelerates him. 1-0. I called it. I called it. All we need to do is nick the ball. Nick the ball and counter-attack against a team like this. Because if they're going to pass it around like that, and then we're going to restrict their space... Chia with a really good interception, to be fair. Look at that pace. He is a slug, whoever they've got at the back there. Left-footed finish, 1-0. And Bruno Fernandes keeps up his wonderful goal-scoring streak for the club. So their centre-backs, Rosenthal, we can't see who he is. And Zizkind, I'm, I'm just going to assume they're absolutely terrible. How about that? How about we just assume they're absolutely dreadful? Um, if we could have Fedovacovi to give us a... Uh, a a boost as well by getting a draw or beating Dynamo Kiev, that would be great. Revan to Bunga. Bunga back to Revan. Revan over the ball into Bunga. Back to Revan again. We're keeping it very narrow, but that's okay. Chia has a bit of space. Ball across. Ludwig and Avitan makes the header. Um, we probably can. If we go really, really wide, what I want to do is spread them so they come and force us. They come and meet us out wide, and then we just go bang through the middle. That's what I'm... Hoping we do. We make fourth there, 4-4-2. Four, four, We've got to open it up and make it wider. So if we play wider, they should come and press the ball, which should leave spaces in the middle. Cheer with a long throw. Avitan with a very easy catch. Um, we're trying out long throws at the moment. I think I need to tweak who comes up and what happens for them. But we haven't, we've created a couple of opportunities in the league from them, to be honest. Cheer. That's a good turn. He's running. Here he goes. Cheer's out wide. He's in the box. Lays it back. Osmani ball in. Headed away. Revan brings it down. Vincent with a hit. And uh, goes away. So Wilkinson and Vincent come in today because they're the only two players in the whole squad that are a little bit disappointed with their playing time, which we'll go into after this game. Fernandez can't get around his man. The, my my concern I've got is that the three five two, the wing back formation, well played, Revan, good pressure, is um, that's what's caused. Cheers, done it again. Great interception. Oh, he went all on his own though. The greedy git, Revan. Um, the three, the three, five, two, the wing back formation we're playing. I don't know if we'll ever win the league with it. That's always been my concern. Like we are doing very, very well, but it does get unpicked against the bigger teams. As Osmani comes in, Osmani, what can he do? Good tackle. That to be fair, Osmani's got a man on the edge, but can't lay it back. And Kota gets it away. Medina keeps it alive. We're only sixteen minutes in, and we've had seven shots with six on target. Revan. Revan out to Ludwig. How many block? Only one block shot. That's all right. Ludwig into Revan again. Revan shoots. Oh, off the bar. What an effort. What an effort from Revan. Um, I don't know if I went through the the uh, reference of Revan about how it's Star Wars related because I'm a big nerd. Um, but anyway, Chia will take this throw again. Long one in. Moshi wins the header. Revan brings it down. Bunga. He's got Chia outside. Now he can whip in a good cross. He'll try and beat him to the byline. And he does. Oh, there's no one there. Vincent picks it up, though. Back to Revan. 
to Bunga, Bunga to Revan, back to Bunga, back to Revan, back to Bunga, into Vincent, into Fernandez. Fernandez shoots. It's just he's too good. He is what a signing, right? Thirty-one million pounds is a lot of money, but what a signing! Or thirty-four million, I think it was. Well, I don't know what it, whatever it was. It's a is a value for money, definitely. Into Vincent. I said I needed. I thought the stress a lovely place to finish. The strikers we had weren't good enough, and now we've got Osmani and Fernandez. We've got all those Brazilians coming in as well. We've got the English guy who's currently on loan at Swansea. We're gonna have strikers coming out of our ass. It's gonna be amazing. And I think when the Brazilians sign, that's when we may change to a bit of a different formation because um, I need to find a way to get them in. If I can't put them back out on loan for another season... Oh, hello. Hello. Toma Ben Mikel. What are you doing popping up in our area and scoring, you little bastard? That's, I was in full flow about what we were going to do with my Brazilians and you popped up and scored. Are you having a laugh? Get back in your box, mate, Tim. The only person we were told to be worried about is Lika, who I then scouted and was absolutely dreadful. So, like, well, this is... We, this, I'm changing... I'm going to change my tactic, right? And see if we absolutely dominate them with a different formation. Uh, I do appreciate the efforts, but I'm still going to change up the tactic. So, we're going to go to this. And we're going to go Vincent out there. We're going to put Cheer on the wing. We're going to put... Um, Bunga... I think can play there. Is that right? Who have I got? Bunga right back. No, okay. We'll leave Bunga in here. We'll swap you two over. And we're going to pop... Um, I'd say, let's pop Medina out there for now. It'll be fine. He's only got to ask to be a little bit defensive. And then we'll bring James Hamilton on for him if he uh, doesn't enjoy the role very much. But, uh, yeah. So we're mixing it up. We're going to go sort of 4 4 2. I don't think we really need to worry about their formation we shouldn't do anyway as uh, we missed that it went out for a goal kick in case you're worried so Medina's actually playing the best out of the back four Vincent ball it oh what a free kick his first goal of the season he pulls out an absolute beauty like that unbelievable stuff Jordan Vincent take applause Dynamo Kiev are winning which is annoying Jordan Vincent just ah, oh, it's a keeper should do better but it's a wonderful free kick and we find ourselves 3-1 up, so we'll give him a bit of praise. We do have a two-goal lead. We can make some subs on the 60th minute mark as well. As uh, Wilkinson out to Ludwig. Ludwig comes forward with it. Goes back to Bunga. Bunga into Wilkinson. Up to Revan. Revan to Bunga. Bunga to Revan. Wilkinson. All the way back to Ramos. Ramos goes long looking for Vincent. Heads it down to Bunga. Into Ludwig, who's not got there. Liberty's intercepted the ball. Liberty comes forward into Ant-Man. I'm surprised he can kick a ball with his little legs. Liberty into Ant-Man again. Oh, I thought we were going to give away a foul. Lika shoots. Good save from Ramos. That's me being a little bit worried about them creating a chance. But it should be okay. Berger heads it away. Ben Lulu picks it up into Lika. Ant-Man misses it. Medina clears. Fernandez will try and turn and get away. But doesn't really come to anything. Right. 60th minute mark. Let's uh, make some subs. We will do. We'll bring Medina back into the middle. Wilkinson can come off to be replaced by Hamilton. At fullback, we will do. I'm tempted to give Kenny a run out, to be honest, but I think we're doing. Chia going to a winger hasn't helped Chia out. That's a little bit disappointing, that. Um, Hamilton, Ludwig Berger, Medina. Let's swap you two over. Revan, Osmani got there. We could rest Osmani. I'd like Fernandez to get a hat trick. Yeah, let's rest him. We'll bring on Ida. We'll put Cheer up to a winger. So that does another change of formation, uh, just to see how we get on. Sixty minutes gone. Two substitutions. Then um, we bring on James Hamilton. Getting a uh, getting a fair few games to be fair, James. Uh, one in the league, but you've had three in the content on the continental competitions, and you've been performing. Pretty damn well. I'm impressed. Keep it up. We're complacent. Don't get complacent. Uh, get creative instead. Instead of getting complacent, get creative. That didn't really help. Uh, Cheers. Still not having a very good game out there. We haven't really got anyone that can come on to replace him. Um, so we'll rest Ludwig because he's important for our 
Premier League games and Kenny can come on and get his match fitness up. Uh, get creative. Dynamo Kiev, I think a 1-0 up. I don't think it's a big convincing win for them at home. Ziskin goes long. Bielberg knocks it down to Lika. Vincent tackles. Fernandez in for the hat-trick. Go on, son. Fernandez beats the defender and the keeper makes a great save. Denied his hat-trick. What a bellend. Five minutes to go. Vincent, ball in. James Hamilton. Oh, it's headed away. Ida. Fernandez. He's offside. It would have been his hat-trick. I think that might have been going in anyway. The defender's appealing for offside. VAR gives it as offside because it always does. Was it going in? I think it was. I think it was sneaking in the post and Ida will be furious. 26 shots, 16 on target. It's a similar game to when we played them last time. Apart from this time, we're coming back with a win. Bunga into Revan. Vincent. Oh, we're trying to find Ida as uh, Ben Michael gets there. Bielberg is uh, blocked and uh, Leek has let that go. Fernandez gets the hat trick on the 89th minute. Lovely, lovely stuff. There we go. Wraps it up. 4-1 in a game we've absolutely dominated. And uh, that's what you want to see. We'll give them the praise they deserve. And that will take us nicely into the Brighton game on a good run of form. James Hamilton to Bunga. Into Vincent. Vincent back to James Hamilton. Getting a bit of space. Into Cheer. Cheer shoots. It's blocked. Hamilton to Revan. Back to Bunga. And uh, this will probably just be the end of the game highlight. There it is. 4-1. Very, very convincing. That's what we needed to do at home. And I don't know why we didn't. But, um, yeah, let me know down below what you think about the tactics. The 5-3-2 has done us so well. And I, I always end up coming back to it. But uh, I just think with the Brazilians that we've got, we'll go and have a look at them in a minute. As uh, Fernando's great hat trick. Superb in front of goal. That will really help our... Um, our goal difference. So there we are. We've got two better goal difference than Dynamo Kiev, who did win. Uh, yeah, they've beaten Ferdovacosi twice 3 0 and 3 2. So we haven't lost yet, and hopefully we'll inflict Dynamo Kiev's first Dynamo Kiev's first loss of the season, which would be so. Pedro Souza has the most goals and highest average rating. Finley Wood has the most assists. He doesn't look too bad, to be honest. 28 year old striker Pedro Souza, 27 year old striker. Nah, we've got a better striker than you. But, uh, yeah, if we go and have a look at the... Um, where am I going? Transfers. Um, there should be a very easy way. Because you know you get a loan manager now. There should be a very easy way that you can just look at... Like, they need, like, loanees or something as to be a tab. But as soon as you get a loan manager. Right, so we have out and about. We have Pablo Diego. So, inverted winger. Would very much suit the formation with the 4-2-3-1. Um, or a 4-2-4. Looks very, very handy. Very quick. Good cross in. I think he'll be... I, I sort of want to get him involved as soon as we can. Um, Paolo Cesar. We have an advanced playmaker attacking midfielder. Looks like he's going to be better than Vincent. Arguably better than Taylor, who we're bringing in as well. But we'll have to see how he gets on. And then I think the other two are both strikers. Pablinho, uh, as a striker, looks very, very good. As an advanced forward. Imagine him and Fernandez rotating with Osmani as a backup as well. That would be good. And Fininho as a striker as well. This is, Fininho is probably the weakest of the bunch. Um, he is listed as a pressing forward that we don't need. I think Fininho is bought because I see that as a massive investment in terms of we buy him in we can we can probably flog him off. I'm going to see I don't I would like it if we got in January two of them play for the club and two of them go out on loan, or three of them go out on loan um, to, to carry on working somewhere else, which I think would be good. Because we've also got John Robbins coming back, who is absolutely banging the goals in yet again in the Championship. And I'm hoping he can, he can make the step up to uh, the Premier League. But he doesn't come back until the end of the season. So we don't have to really worry about him. But I can definitely cross off the list of buying any more strikers for next year. We've got lots of young, very good strikers, which is uh, really, really useful. Which is why... I still think we need to play a two front man formation. It's just is something like that oh like that a little bit more suited to what we do and then potentially having a deep line playmaker on defense so that we don't have these two bombing up and then we've got the issue with Bunga being a uh who wants to get forward more. I don't know, it's something I'll have to look into. Um I'm not sure, but next, I think going into next year, I think really right back could be the potentially only world cast position we need. I think Ludwig is absolutely incredible. He could be improved on if there's a man out there, but uh, I do think 
he's been so solid for us when you think we bought him in for three million pounds. Um, and then right back, you know, Cheer would move up to the wing. Jordan Pickering isn't defensively solid enough. He is very much a winger, although he has done pretty well. This season's been a bit poor, but he's mainly come off the bench. Um, and I think Jordan Pickering's one we could cash in on because I'd rather have James Hamilton as our backup right back, who is much more defensively solid, uh, looks very good, been performing well this season. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. But yeah, we've, we're, I'm very happy with the squad that we are building, which is very good. But that's enough of my rambling. Uh, we'll be back for the game against Brighton. So here we are then, back for the second game of the episode. We're going to take on Brighton in this one. But uh, interesting to note, Man United down in 12th, having absolute stinker of form at the moment. So we beat them 1-0 after the incident where we also beat them 2-1 and then had to replay the game. 2-2 two -two, um, at home to Bayern Munich, lost 6-0 to Chelsea, drew 1-1 with Burnley, lost 4-0 to Celtic. 4-0 to Brighton, 3-0 to Arsenal, 2-1 to Man City, 1-0 to... They beat Celtic 1-0 and have just lost 2-1 to Fulham as well. They are on an absolutely horrendous run of form at the moment. Manager Lionel Scaloni is surely under pressure to lose his job because that is a terrible, terrible run of form. And if you look, they're still playing. Last starting 11, Cognac we know is amazing. He's their key player. Verbeek, Niang, Francis Brown, Palacios, Garizo in goal is absolutely phenomenal. They're just obviously not feeling it at the moment. But anyway, we don't have to worry about them because we're focusing on Victor and we're taking on Brighton. We're going to line up in the 4-2-3-1 today. I want to give it a go. Uh, try and make something happen. Get the ball moving. Um, try and exploit the wing. See, see how we do with it, really. It's a bit of a free hit. If we win, we leapfrog Brighton um, and can go into 7th from 8th. But we're still doing a very good season. We're still not expected to qualify for Europe, so I think we'll be... Whatever happens, it will be classed as a good season. Um, there's some very weird things happening in the boardroom at the moment. If we go, uh, is it Club Vision? Yeah, so they're obviously pleased with our 5 0 win over Stoke, pleased with the 2 2 draw against Dynamo Kiev, and pleased with the 2 0 victory over Crawley Town. However, they're disappointed that we drew 1 1 with Maccabi Haifa in Europe, which we weren't going to be in. Disappointed that we lost 2 0 in the Carabao Cup to Man City, who are amazing, and disappointed that we lost 2 1 to Everton, who are currently. Um, fourth in the league so i'm a little bit upset that they're pissed off with those sorts of things but that's not for us to worry about let's say so we'll, we'll pick the team now so uh, ramos in goal obviously right back we are going to start james hamilton at right back for a reasonably big game but we'll uh, we'll give him a run out there he's as i said he's, he's done well this season so he's earned the right to play uh, center back we're going to go for medina and burger that is our best two center back partnership left wing back will obviously be uh, Ludwig. Central midfield and defender will be our main man, Bunga. And then we'll have next to him, we're going to start Revan. Uh, winger will obviously be Chia, wherever he's gone. Uh, attacking midfield will be Vincent. We're going to shove Ida out on the left as an inside forward on attack. And then Bruno Fernandes will lead the line. Put in Osmani on the bench, Perea on the bench, Kenny on the bench, Marin on the bench, Bonin on the bench. And we'll put, uh, obviously, we'll put Ross on the bench as a sub-goalkeeper for today. Or do we... Mm, oh, Gnarsson is the better keeper, but I think Ross needs a bit more involvement. And uh, we'll put Gashi on there as well in case we can get him on for some game time. He hasn't really impressed when he's played. Two appearances, none of them, not enough to give a rating. Um, and then, yeah, non-competitive 7.44 for the club, 6.7 in the four games he's played. But... I mean, if he progresses how I expect him to, he'll be absolutely brilliant. So uh, let's crack in to the game on game day. That would be useful rather than just pressing continue and then having to watch a load screen. How's everyone doing? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully everyone um, is doing well. There we go. Right, on to game day. We've picked the team, so that's okay. Let's get it underway. Yeah, 4-2-3-1. Let's see how we get on with it. I think there may be a little bit of retraining needed for the Brazilians when they come in as well, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, eight Nordi on the uh, left wing back is looking uh, left back looking pretty good. They got Hudson Adoy out there as well, thirty one year old inverted winger on the left. It's a match up of formations, so it should come down to who has the better players. And I would argue we do. Um, we're at home. Go out and give the fans money. It's sort of a derby, Folkestone v Brighton, the South Coast derby. Could you call it? That's probably a bit of a stretch, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Folks are unbeaten in three matches against Brighton. It's important to use every tool. He's good to go. He's good to go. Don't have to worry about James Hamilton. I know he's good to go. He supports the channel. Of course he's good to go. Uh, Caio Cesar back to Pelsic for Brighton. Put under pressure 
by Bruno Fernandes. But um, I'm just interested to see how the 4-2-3-1 works. I mean, we've been training it. The, the team, the guys know it. So uh, we should be okay. Hudson Odoi up against. Oh, a good tackle there. Cheer. Comes over the ball. Back to Ramos. Ramos moves it out to the left to Ludwig. Go up the line. Just go up the line with an easy ball. That's it. Up to Ida. We've got Bruno Fernandes making the run as Ida comes forward. What can he do? He's uh, encouraged, obviously, to run and dribble with the ball. Adam Ida, go on, pressure him. It's a poor pass back. Fernandez nicks in. It's 1-0. Five minutes in. An error from, well, Kolovsky and the goalkeeper. He, the goalkeeper probably should have just cleared it, but he messed it up. It's a good tackle from Kao as uh, Kolevsky forced back towards his own byline. Squared across. He just needs to hoof that first time. He took a heavy touch, and Fernandez first time, well, just first shot of the game, into the corner it goes. A lovely start. Up to seventh, as I said, we leapfrogged them with a win. Joint on points with Liverpool, but their goal difference is somewhat superior to us. 15 minutes in, and uh, we are 1-0 up. Not too much to talk about. Great ball in. Fernandez heads it down. Medina's, oh my, how has he hit the bar from there? That's got to go in the net. That has got to go in. As uh, we miss a glorious opportunity to double our lead. And... Well, we're still dominating the game, really. Vincent over the corner. Fings it in. Ida heads it. Oh, it gets beaten in the air. Revan picks up the loose ball. All the way back to Bunga. Bunga goes back to Ramos, and we keep the ball. That's fine. Get our shape. Get our attacking structure. James Hamilton plays a 1-2 with his goalkeeper. Not something you see every day. Ramos just goes long, which is a bit annoying. Casey's out to Warren. Warren put under pressure. Kolovsky into Warren again. Warren to Pilsic. Pilsic to Warren, into Caio Cesar. Caio Cesar goes down the line to Michel. That's a good ball. Michel is uh, tackled by Bunga, who gets it away really well. Warren keeps in. Pilsic into Caio Cesar. They're passing it around well. Good ball. Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy shoots, and Ramos touches it over. No, it's a good move from Brighton. It's a very good move, but a good save from Ramos. Antwi over the ball. That can't be Godwin Antwi, can it? No. I was going to say, he must have retired by now. Hudson Adoy, get, get, at least give him a yellow for that. We were breaking. We were away. What are you playing at, referee? You should be more stringent. Stricter with the rules. Oh, that's bad. Chia has picked up a potential knee injury, which we definitely didn't need at this point. Because even if we don't play this formation, he is our starting right wing back. So that is a little bit of a killer. Um, we're going to go assertively. Don't get complacent. It's a, it's a good one to say when you're playing teams in and around you in the league, I feel. But uh, then we'll say we have faith in them to not get complacent and do it properly. So Vincent's not playing brilliantly. Chia isn't playing brilliantly. Revan's not playing brilliantly. We sort of, I think we have to take Chia off. 69% with a knee injury is not ideal. I think oh, it's going to open us up a little bit. But we're actually going to go to this and swap you two over like that. And we're going to get you as deep line forward support so you drop in. I think we'll swap those over and see how they go. Now we don't have too many attacking options. Perea is an option on the bench in attack. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. But it puts James Hamilton into his more familiar sort of defensive role which I think is good. Um, but we are 1-0 up so it's not the end of the world. It's a shame we have to take Gia off. He's he is actually growing into the play. I thought, what a ball that is to Fernandez! Is it? He's on side. It's two 0 What a pass that was! What a pass! That is ridiculously good. Burger into Bunga, Bunga back to Burger, and he just just casually dinks it over the top of the defence, and Fernandez sticks it in left footed past the goalkeeper. Two 0 up. It's incredible start to the second half. I didn't... Well, you can tell. I think from my voice I didn't expect that. Vincent. Ball in. And the keeper's missed it. And Medina, the powerful centre-back, finishes it off. Two goals in the space of five minutes for Invicta. And, uh, well, we could be leapfrogging Brighton here into seventh place. Vincent. Lovely ball in. Velazquez is an, an absolute mare coming for that. And, uh, yeah, I will accept his mareness. A 5.0. He's been at fault for two goals today. That is dreadful. I'd be subbing him off. If that was my goalkeeper, he would be off the pitch right now. He would not be playing. Um, ball in. Revan. James Hamilton picks it up into Medina. Medina to Bunga. Bunga out to Vincent. We are spreading the play well. We are making them really lose their shape. As Fernandez is in again, it's his hat trick. Unbelievable. Back-to-back -back hat tricks from Bruno Fernandez. Ridiculous. 4-0 up. 
the the change in formation losing cheer i thought may really hurt us but it hasn't at all vincent lovely ball through fernandez has got the pace the guy is incredible and it he hasn't made me leave with egg on my face by introducing him at the start of the episode saying how bloody brilliant he is because he has been brilliant <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous sitting josh vincent out there as an inverted winger getting two assists as well Ludwig heads that away. I don't, we might not be done, you know. Bunga goes long. We can't get there. Nori goes back to Velazquez, who is having a terrible game already. Conceding four, and he's at fault for two of them. That is not very good fun for a goalkeeper. Kolevsky gets round Ludwig into the box, lays it back to Warren. Scholl's shot is hit. Um, Berger, who then puts in a wonderful tackle, and Vincent comes forward. Fernandez will have the pace again, just gets away from his marker really easily. He's in, not quite into the box. Warren makes the block. But uh, with about coming up to 15 minutes to go, we have a 4-0 lead. And I feel like we can make some changes here. Let's go for... Um, Ida. It's, Ida, Ida. it's only Ida and Osman. I mean, Bruno Fernandes has his hat-trick, so we probably could. Let's bring him off for... Why did I not put a striker on the bench? That's very... Oh, I suppose I did, Osmani, but I put him on. Um... We're going to bring Kenny on, and we're going to go Ida up top. Kenny over here as a winger. Not what he wants to do, but we'll put you as an inverted winger over this side now. Ludwig can drop back and be a wing back on defend, and uh, we'll just go with that. We'll make another bit of a time-wasting substitution uh, as well as the game. Well, the game is ticking away, but you know what I mean as we get closer towards the 90th minute as uh, Nori goes up to Hudson Doyle. Now, Brighton, I'm expecting them to score because football manager generally gives a goal to the opposition when you take off your best player or highest rated player which for us was obviously Bruno Fernandes up front 9.6 but he has got a hat trick their morale should have dropped through the floor their keepers having an absolute shocker so to be fair I don't have too much of a concern um might bring Marin on now let's bring on we'll bring on Perea for Ludwig uh, we'll drop Kenny back here We'll bring... What footed are you? I think you're right footed, aren't you? Yeah. So we'll go back to the original sort of shape. So Vincent can come back to an inverted winger on attack. You can come out here as a winger on support because you're right footed. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's all good. Confirm the changes. In we go. And hopefully that will see us through to the end of the game for a very successful episode. Kenny has the ball. Lays it back to Berger. Into Medina. Into Revan. Revan turn. Lots of time and space. Out to Perea. Not used to be a winger, but he's going straight to the byline and wins a corner. Take it. Well done, Perea, out on that right-hand side. They're playing with more freedom. Well, bully them, whatever that whatever that means. They're playing with more freedom. Okay, we'll try and restrict your freedom by updating our individual player instructions. Berger, Revan, all the way back to Ramos. I don't mind that. We're 4-0 up. We are 4-0. I said, I think if we win by 7 I might not have said, but we needed to win by seven to leapfrog Liverpool. And to be fair, we haven't been far away from that. Revan gets the ball to Medina, into Bunga. Bunga out to Perea, wins the header, Osmani. Osmani gets around his man. Osmani shoots, he's hit the post. The youngster coming on as a striker has hit the post. Or maybe he came on in the game, he didn't start, but um, has hit the post. And it's been a, a, dare I say it, a tactical masterclass from yours truly. I don't want to be. I don't like bigging myself up in in games and thinking I'm brilliant at them. But I, I am quite good at football manager. But this was a an enforced change from Chia being injured or getting his knock, but um, worked out very very well. Passionately, incredible, incredible performance. That another hat trick for Fernandez, taking him now to twelve in twelve. Ah, oh, rightfully justified to big him up at the beginning. Javier Chia is only out for two to three days, so that's not too bad. We'll send David Dunn to that. And Fernandez again, again, playing absolutely incredibly. And we creep back into the Europa Conference League position. But only six points off a Champions League spot, which is incredible. I mean, we are 12 points off Man City. So we've got a long way to go until there. Imagine that, right? The three top goal scorers so far in November are from Wolves, Folkestone and Fulham. Not Man City, Chelsea, Everton, Tottenham, Liverpool, Arsenal, United, anyone like that. It's from Wolves, Folkestone and Fulham. And Wolves are doing pretty terrible, so he must be quite good. Finishing 13, composure 14, but off the ball 16. Off the ball is a key thing to look at for an advanced forward, by the way, if you're relatively new to the game. But yeah, 10 and 11. 
bloody hell, he's he's had some good seasons for him, Jordan Fraser, Scottish striker. But there we go, we will uh, save the game, because I've already learned from that error, and I've saved it after every single game we've played now. But thank you for watching, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, if you're enjoying the series, leave a like, it does really help the channel out. Try and catch the FIFA streams I'm doing at the moment, and uh, we'll be back very, very soon for the Dynamo Kiev uh, UA Europa Conference League game. Still is weird to say that. But thank you so much for watching for now. I'm out. Cheers.